Now, Congressman, why didn't you vote for Paul Ryan? Well, I uh, have had some severe disagreements with Paul. I thought the election process was grossly unfair. You know, we had an election scheduled and uh, uh, Speaker Boehner's candidate withdrew. And so we immediately postponed, as I told the conference, mm -hmm. if, if uh, one of the other two had backed out, he would have gone ahead with the election that day. Then we mm -hmm. have a special conference. And uh, Paul was the only one allowed to speak at that. So it was an unfair process. And, uh, and also, as much, it, Paul is such a fine guy, and he is a great father and husband and, and just a really good guy, smart guy. Mm -hmm. But there are some fundamental differences we've had, like the Wall Street bailout. He was a leading proponent in Congress, and I was trying to okay, talk to people Okay, you're talking about the 2008 bailout. When uh, you basically had yep, the entire October. financial system of the world on the line, uh, and Congress had to come forward with a now, Trish, very large... No, tr now, that's not fair, Trish, that we did not have to come forward with that. That's the words you said. And actually, there was a former FDIC chair named Isaacs that says, don't abandon, despite what Bush says, don't abandon free market principles, save the free market. Here, Here's a better solution. Well, you had a yeah, bunch no, of... No, I, I know Bill Isaac well. Um, that if you brought... Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying, well, and you I want to rehash 2008 right now, because uh, well, we, we could, we could do this you, for you days. Don't have to abandon but I can tell you, principles to save Representative, the it was a very scary time. And there is a reason why we didn't it have was. the Great Depression. We have had a lousy recession. We've had no economic growth. It is not a good economic picture out there. But we didn't have people standing, no. you know, for a mile in a bread line like they did back in the 1930s. And that's in part because it now, wasn't Trish, a total financial collapse. But Lehman I want to move on Brothers. to Paul Ryan. We Representative, I do want to move on to Paul Brothers. Ryan. Are you going GM to support him now? Chrysler wouldn't be sold to Fiat. Uh, yes, and I told him are you yesterday. Going to him I was the first to one. And I've answered if you quit butting in. Yes, I told him yesterday, and I was the first one to congratulate him after he was handed the gavel, mm -hmm. uh, that congratulations. He did give a great speech, mm -hmm. and I will do everything I can to help him as long as he's right. But, but, but why, there are times why couldn't you vote right. for the guy then? You, why, did you, why, did you have to, why did you have to vote against him? I mean, he needed all the votes he could get. And you were just there voting your conscience. I mean, what would the danger have been if, if too many people did what you did and just decided, well, I'm going to vote against him because I don't like what he did, you know, at this point or at that point in his tenure? Well, it, yeah, I realized that I should turn over my voting card to my leadership instead of voting what a majority of my constituents think, according to some people in the establishment but I am sent to Congress to vote my conscience. And you nailed it. You used those words. I voted my conscience. I voted my district. And I don't turn my, I'm not a member of the Freedom Caucus. They don't tell me how to vote. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to do what my leadership says mm -hmm. if it's against the good of the country. And yeah, I know, but so you've got to anyway, think about the good of the yes, country and the good of, the, the, and the good of Congress, right? I mean, you need to have somebody there as speaker. And if you just keep voting need, no, we, you're not going to have a speaker. Well, and I realize that there's some people, apparently you're an advocate when a, an election process is not fair of just going ahead and rubber stamping anyway. But that's you don't have my voting card, Trish, and I'm not right. going to rubber Representative, stamp. Representative, I, I got a, more stories to get to. Thank voting you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me here today. Representative Gohmert.